All right, we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming to join the uh, the RFMD uh, press, press event at IMS 2012. Uh, I see a lot of familiar faces out there and a few uh, few that I don't know. So uh, please uh, take a moment after we're done here to introduce yourselves so we can get to know each other a little bit. I'm Norm Hilgendorf, the president of RFMD's Multi-Market Products Group at RFMD. Uh, very excited to be here. I've been at uh, MTT and IMS for many, many years now and it's uh, it's absolutely my favorite trade show every year because uh, for what we do uh, the kinds of products that we do the applications we address this is really the perfect thing for us and uh, in the number of, I think I started in the RF and microwave industry back in 1983 there's a lot of folks that I see at this uh, at this show every single year uh, and this is the only time I see them every year uh, some folks that I worked with in my, in my first job or the last job and uh, maybe Maybe the next job, we'll see. So uh, thanks again for joining us. We appreciate your time here. Uh, I know you're either here for the food, for the drink, or to hear from me. Uh, we'll, I'm just going to pretend it's the latter. Uh, you can applaud and clap every now and then, so I feel uh, so I feel feel like that. So uh, you know, one of the reasons that we like IMS is that it's really a product show. And we're all about the products. Uh, most of the folks uh, with RFMD that you'll see here are uh, we're engineers in some fashion, uh, past or present. And so we really like coming to this show to see all the different products, uh, the latest and greatest things that uh, had, have come out in our industry. And what an industry we have. It's uh, just uh, moving at a very constant pace and uh, a rapid rate of change. I always say to people that if you don't like change, you shouldn't be in this business because uh, it is always changing. So if you, if you like change and you like innovation and you like to do new things, this is really a great place to be and things are moving faster than ever. Certainly at RFMD, uh, we've been going through a lot of changes as well uh, and, and a lot of changes in technology and a lot of changes in the kinds of products that we do. So really what I wanted to highlight today was uh, some of the key things that are going on at RFMD really from a product and technology perspective because RFMD has really gone through some shifts in the last few years to really emphasize the product leadership. RFMD has always been a great place for engineering and uh, engineering work and valuing that, but our commitment to product excellence and innovation is, is greater than ever. And I think that's really well evidenced by the, the kinds of developments and products which have come out in uh, you know, the last 12 to 15 months. So when I give you some examples, are uh, while it's not really the focus of this show, uh, you know, three quarters of our company focuses on the cellular market. So I'll start with the the, the cellular group. We have two divisions in RFMD. Uh, one is the cellular products group, which covers uh, uh, which is about three quarters of the company's revenue, and then there's about uh, yeah, uh, one quarter of the company is our multi-market product group, which is really what you see represented here today. Now for those of you who are taking notes, there actually is a sheet of paper in your uh, backpack with some talking points, uh, which might help you through some of this. Uh, I'm not going to explain all the DBM and EVM and linearity specs and all that. Don't worry, we won't get into all, all those details, but there, there are a few highlights and talking points uh, on the sheet here. So when we get into, uh, look at the cellular area and look at the things that are driving that business, it is driving a rapid rate of change of the kind of products that we deliver from our FMD. The demand for coverage and capacity and data throughput is driving a lot of changes in the networks and in the cellular devices. RFMD is focused on the, it's the RF front end. This is the amplification, the filtering, the switching and signal routing that occurs between the antenna and the RF transceivers. With the rapid expansion of the number of frequency bands that cell phones have to address in multiple modes from GCM, GSM to WCDMA and TDS-CDMA and LTE, the complexity of the front end is increasing at a rapid rate and it's driving a lot of new innovation and need for uh, changes in the products. For instance, PowerSmart 
was a new type of product introduced by RFMD some 15 months ago, which combines all the amplification functions and DC to DC power control in a true configurable amplifier for the front end so that you can address many, many frequency bands with a single device rather than having a separate PA or power amplifier for every, for every channel and every frequency band, you can consolidate those really into this one single component. And it has driven a significant improvement in, uh, uh, in the, just the simplicity of designs and ability for our customers to uh, improve their time to market. A second example is our, our, our new ultra high efficiency power amplifiers, which were just a few months behind the PowerSmart. Uh, these high efficiency amps we, we refer to as Phenom uh, within the company, and these are providing the industry's best power efficiency in a cell phone. Cell phones, uh, typically you'll hear numbers like, uh, you know, as far as power consumption, the PAs will consume on the order of 40% of the battery power in a cell phone in, in ordinary use. So the power amplifier is critical in its performance and, and, it, and that power efficiency affecting the battery life in your cell phone. So RFMD's advances in improving power efficiency with the power amplifier in, in this RF front end is driving a lot of customers to our front door to improve the battery life and data throughput with the smartphones. The third thing that I'd highlight from, uh, the, from the cellular group is a completely new category for us that has really just been uh, touted in the last three or four months. This is the area of antenna control solutions. These are kind of switch and signal conditioning products which can optimize the match between antennas and the amplifiers in the front end as you change bands, as you change modes, as you change power levels, as you change other operating conditions. It keeps that match between the, it adjusts the match between the antenna and the rest of the phone to optimize performance real time rather than just a one time setting in the factory. It's always adjusting to, uh, to the needs of the user. And this is really enhancing the user experience in some very new cell phones that are just now coming to market. So stay tuned, you'll hear a lot more about the uh, antenna control solutions coming from RFMD. So those were three key highlights within the cellular category, the, uh, the power smart, high efficiency PAs, and the antenna control solutions. To get these advances, we're using some new technologies. For instance, in, uh, in the antenna control solutions, we use a silicon on insulator, or SOI technology, uh, to, to achieve the, the new breakthroughs in performance. Within our multi-market product group, where we're addressing non-cellular applications, we've taken the same technology and adapted it for infrastructure applications. Our largest market in the multi-market product group, or MPG, is wireless infrastructure. And so in this space, there is a continuous need to, uh, to improve the coverage and capacity of the networks as everybody's smartphones are uh, you know, you're, you're driving more and more data consumption. There's a lot of stress on the networks. So the carriers are trying to drive more and more through their networks, which is driving key performance parameters on our products. You probably hear a lot about linearity. Who's heard about linearity today? Yeah, I've come up a few times. You know, if you want to drive more data through a pipe, you need more linear devices. So you're going to hear this over and over from everybody here at the show about having more linear products. Ignore him, he's telling you to leave. <laughs> The exhibit hall is closing, but the bar is open at RFMD. So don't, don't, don't go back there yet. Just yet. I'm not done just yet. I won't be too long. Uh, so, thank you. Thank you. I'm not here all night. Okay. So, uh, so within MPG, focusing on wireless infrastructure and high linearity devices, a completely new product category for us is uh, what's called variable gain amplifiers. 
and these are key components used in both the transmitter and the receiver. And we've come out with a new range of SOI-based variable gain uh, amplifiers, variable gain amplifiers and attenuators, these VGAs, with much better and much improved linearity for our uh, base station customers. And because of the leading performance that we have in these VGAs that are highlighted at uh, the tower in the middle over there, uh, you know, we're getting a lot of uh, traffic from our, our base station customers to adopt these products within their systems. Also related to wireless infrastructure is the backhaul or microwave radio category. You've got the wireless infrastructure or base stations for your cell phone connecting to the base station. Well, all that data still has to get through to the plain old telephone network to get to the other side, wherever it's going to go. That backhaul is another pinch point in the operator's uh, networks. So we're seeing a lot of push to increase the capacity and, and, and the bandwidth of those networks going through in the point-to-point -point radios and the, and, and the microwave networks. So RFMD in the last year has come out with some two dozen products in this microwave mimic category to address, uh, provide full, complete RF integrated solutions, so complete chipsets for radi microwave radios operating from in bands from 10 gigahertz on up to 27 gigahertz. Includes up converters, down converters, uh, VCOs, the voltage controlled oscillators, and the power amplifiers for all the key bands from 10 to 27 gigahertz. We're really rocking on the products coming out in this product group and, and again, the key feature from the products in this area any guesses? Linearity, yes, exactly. So again, to support the higher and higher levels of data throughput in the networks. Now the next uh, area that I'd like to touch on as far as uh, uh, yeah, another product category where we've got a major emphasis in RFMD, as you'll see the tower in the back is the GAN RF power, gallium nitride. Gallium nitride is a very exciting breakthrough semiconductor technology for many applications, especially RF. You've probably seen gallium nitride or GAN promoted in a number of areas here on the floor today uh, because of this breakthrough technology. It has significant advantages in breakdown voltage and power density and thermal advantages, which leads to reliability advantages and a number of our performance features that are advantageous in both military and commercial RF applications. RFMD is at the lead for gallium nitride based products and high power. With, we have a broad range of 37 products now that we've released in the last 18 months in this category. So it's in a number of products with power levels from 10 watts to 380 watts of power, so don't get too close. Uh, we've got some on display back here that are operating by that back tower showing a high power uh, GAN uh, transmitter and they, and they are much easier for customers to work with than LDMOS. They have cover very wide frequency bands. We have one power IC in particular that covers the bandwidth from 10 megahertz all the way to 2500 megahertz. Same device. So when you look at this compared to traditional LDMOS devices, there's some significant performance advantages including, any guesses? Linearity, that's right. And the, as well as the other things that I mentioned, the broader frequency bandwidth. So we're seeing the first adopters here are military because of the high power density and the high breakdown voltages have real advantages in military radar first and foremost. But with other feature, uh, other advances in the technology, we're starting to get some traction on the commercial side as, as well. And so we expect to see, uh, have a very long run of increasing this business in GAN power to be another significant part of RFMD's business. Then finally, the last area I was going to highlight is, uh, is Wi-Fi. We have a tower uh, towards the back uh, and back right uh, for the Wi-Fi business. The products that we sell in Wi-Fi are very similar to the first products we talked about. They're front ends, front end being the power amplifier, the low noise amplifier, switches, sometimes some filtering, uh, sometimes a couple other features in there, but those are the, those are the, key, the key things in the front end. 
what's happening in the Wi-Fi business, first of all, the Wi-Fi market's exploding. Uh, I'd like to know how many Wi-Fi transceivers we've got just in the booth here. It's, it's, it's probably a pretty good sized number because smartphones are all going this direction to offload as much of the data from the cellular networks onto the Wi-Fi networks. And that's what it's going to take to support all of the smartphone usage that's, that's out there in the world today and the growth that's anticipated. So we see smartphone adoption, we see continued growth with laptops and tablets, we see gaming, we see automotive, we see other consumer devices like printers and television sets. So the overall market for Wi-Fi is just exploding. On top of that, because of the need for greater and greater bandwidths and the need to handle more data, the, the challenges and the, the, uh, the requirements on the Wi-Fi products, when you get into the 5 gigahertz band, the, the uh, demands are ever increasing. And so for the maximum data throughput, you know, some of the key measures and the key things that uh, pe our customers are looking for from our amplifiers and front ends are linearity. That's right. Very good. So the, the you know this bunch is much smarter than last year's. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we have by far the highest linearity uh, devices today for mobile Wi-Fi. So we're getting very strong activity in the Wi-Fi front ends. Uh, in particular, the, if we have the industry-leading dynamic EVM, that's EVM, error vector magnitude. Uh, share that with your spouse at home tonight and they'll be, uh, they'll be very impressed. Uh, this is really a key measure for uh, how the products operate under real-life real conditions. And this is where RFMD is leading today. So it's a combination of this high linearity along with very high power efficiency. That gets down to the power consumption required for our amplifiers. We have best-in-class power efficiency as well. So the Wi-Fi front ends are a big category for us and a major source of growth for RFMD in the future as well. So those are uh, some of the key highlights that I wanted to show and you know we've covered a number of different markets here including cellular, wireless infrastructure, the microwave backhaul, uh, you know, Wi-Fi and the GAN power and as you can see we have a lot of different uh, product releases in this space, there's a lot of innovation in these areas and these are the categories that we will continue to invest in and continue to focus on over the coming year because uh, this is where we're really seeing great opportunities for the business.